You know, a Marlboro artist is warning small business owners to watch out for hackers on Facebook. Courtney Cole joins us with her story and some tips on keeping yourself safe online. Courtney? Liam and Kate, you know those criminals are crafty, so listen up. So Pearl Northrup operates her business, Pearl's Painting, out of her home. So she uses tiny brush strokes to create one-of-a-kind ornaments and home decor items. And then she sells them at craft shows on Etsy, on Facebook. Well... At least she did until she fell victim to a phishing scam. She responded to a message on her personal Facebook page that she thought came from Facebook. And the next thing she knew, she was locked out of her account. My cover photo and my profile picture were changed to the ISIS flag. After they hacked my personal page, they went into my business page, added themselves on as an administrator. Locked out of my account yesterday. I told you these criminals are getting crafty. You really do have to be careful. Once the hacker had access to her business page, they also had access to her credit card on file. They were able to buy advertisements aimed at duping her real customers. And even though this is upsetting to hear, guys, it's actually a pretty common scam. The Massachusetts Attorney General's Office tells us that they received more than 70 similar complaints last year. Now, cybersecurity experts say there are a few steps you can take to protect yourself online, which, you know, Sometimes it could be annoying to take the extra step, but it will be worth it. So make sure you're logging out when you're not using an account. Also, turn on that two-factor authentication and be really careful with those phishing messages. Facebook did not respond to our request for comment on the story.